Hello wonderful people of the interwebs, I am Elder Sun, and thank you for joining me today for another Prison Architect tutorial. Today we are going to talk about deployment. So this was picked by you guys as per my poll that I set out on my previous tutorial videos. Uh, I will put a little a card at the top right of this video where you can vote. You can also vote on previous videos if you feel so inclined, so go check those out. And yeah, let's get started. So. As I said, we're going to talk about deployments. First thing you're going to need to do is unlock it in bureaucracy. So you're going to need the warden, security, and then deployment. So the other thing that isn't unlocked right away is patrols, I believe. So to get patrols, you're going to need security, patrols, and then to get dog patrols, you're obviously going to need to research dogs as well. Let's get down to this tab. So. Let's talk about each of these. So, um, this guards button is how you can assign guards to different areas at different different areas to just kind of station them there. They'll stay in that cell block or room or whatever it is until they have a break, and then someone will come and relieve them. So to do that, to do that, just click on the guard button, click on the room you want. Super easy, right? Or the yard, so you want it there. Next, we will look at the guard patrols. So in order to make a patrol, you just click and drag like so, and then you can add a guard and click it. So you can have these going wherever you want. Currently, these patrols have nobody on them. And we'll talk about this uh, scheduler in a little bit. So you can have the you can have the patrols, but not necessarily have people on those patrols all the time. And the same thing goes for dog patrols. Uh, you just pick a patrol, click on the patrol route that you want them to be on. So this, at this time, I've got dog patrols going around a circle here, and at the, my entrance patrolling back and forth. Same thing for the armed guards. Next, we will talk about these uh, shared min only, ma medium only, max only. So if you put this on a cell block, um, no other security levels will be housed in those cell blocks. So that's why I've got my, my prison is mainly uh, max security, except for I have one guy that is in productive custody. So I needed one cell block that was um, just uh, shared because I have that one guy in there. So that one protective custody guy will never be housed in here or any, or any of the dormitories. All right, and the same thing for the medium security and all that stuff. You can set that for laundry rooms and all that all that stuff too as well and only that security level will use those facilities. So if you're gonna have a yard that is only medium security, you better have another yard that is maybe shared or for max security if you have those types of prisoners in your prison. So then, yeah, so the same goes for all of these and death row. So I have my little death row section up here because that's where I have my execution room. No other security levels will go in here or try to make this their home. That's the way I want it. You can also set areas to be staff only. So obviously you don't want people in your staff room, so you can put staff room as staff only. Same with these washrooms. And that's what these areas here are. So I got my security room and all that stuff. This access only thing is essentially people won't try to go through your prison that way. So this kind of directs all my traffic in my prison straight through here to get into the prison. Otherwise, they might think it's a good idea to walk through the parole room to get to the yard or something, which is not what I have intent intended for my prison, which is why I have those as access only. Unlocked kind of does what you would think. If I set this to unlocked, all the um, cells in this area will be unlocked all the time. But I don't want that, so I'll right-click that to get rid of it. So yeah, that's kind of the basics of deployment in Prison Architect. And the the only way you can kind of get a little bit more advanced is to set up different, uh, you can set the deployment schedule. So let's pause it and we'll take a look. So this little white arrow indicates the current time and it shows how things are deployed at that time. So it will go to the different tabs and it'll show me all the different things where people are at this time. If I were to click, say, at 3 a.m., now this little red arrow shows up, and it's showing me how things are deployed at 3 o'clock in the morning, which is part of this blue 3 block in the schedule. So this is when my prisoners are asleep. So while they're asleep, I 
shouldn't have I don't have any guard patrols in the middle of the, the prison I don't have any dog patrols in the middle of the prison but I do have dog patrols at the be at the entrance and surrounding my prison so there this dog patrol here is looking for uh, tunnels essentially so they'll they'll sniff out the tunnels and warn me about them if there's ever a tunnel there and then armed guard patrols I have none so they're they're all resting and same with the guards so I have my guards only stationed in cell blocks at this time because they don't really need to be anywhere else which makes sense right so to change this you just uh, you, you just click on the, the hour that you want to change and you can change it to one of seven different uh, options although there's eight because there's the blank one I wanted to repeat this at say nine o'clock I would put three and then it would go back to this deployment uh, kind of formation I guess you could say but I don't want that. At 2 o'clock I've got a whole bunch of uh, guards in the canteen because that's food time and I've repeated that for 8 to 9 o'clock which is where they eat again and you can see as I click back and forth it doesn't change it just repeats. 1 o'clock this is the yard time so I've got lots of guards in the yard and then back to just the regular and that's how I've deployed my um, my guards throughout the prison and throughout the day I've got um, dog patrols in the middle just kind of logical things you can do whatever you want you can set up a whole bunch of different stuff with this so you could have like guard patrols at night going through each and every cell I've done that in the past just just for something to do that's quick and dirty everything that you need to know about deployment in prison architect if you whoops if you found this enjoyable if you thought it was help helpful uh, drop me a quick like and subscribe and you will get uh, notifications for further videos that I upload. I try to do one of these tutorials at least once a month and when I do that I try to get feedback from you guys. I'll put out a couple options on tutorials that you guys might like that you can vote on as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And once again thank you all for watching my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the comments or another video in the future I hope. Have a great day.